At Windsor, the three-year-old Colt Pacers for $113,000. Driver Ron Henderson, a double winner on the sloppy track with bold talent in 158 and 3, and with Wilco's Comet, parked out most of the way before winning in 158 and 1. But he's all racehorse, like he raced right to the wire and hung on tough. Went a tough trip on the outside, too. Windsor Raceway. Two standouts emerged in the $84,000 event for three-year-old Philly Trotters. Hornby Glory with a Windsor track record in 201 and 1. And Briscoe Maud upset heavily favored Vicky's Carolyn for driver Tom Strauss. She's my handy filly and she seemed to have done everything right so far this year. Earlier at Windsor, three-year-old pacing fillies for $103,000. Veteran Pat Crow and Jotario won the first division handily in 159 and 2. Fireside Spree, a surprise 37 to 1 winner. Auntie Jean made it two straight in a leisurely 159 and 2. The fastest division winner, Village Secretary, 158 and 2 for trainer driver William McElroy. She gets around the turns. Good for a big mare, so I think she'd be good in a half-mile track too. Sunday night, Windsor Raceway. The two-year-old Colt Pacers for $99,000 in three divisions. Back to basics with Terry Kerr in the bike was the best in that first division in two minutes and three-fifths. The rest of the evening belonged to veteran Ontario horseman William Meggins with a rare Ontario sire stakes driving double. First with Senior Ralph in Division 2 in 159 and 3, then with Fella Dallas in 159 and 2. I'm quite happy about both calls. Like they've, uh, they're, they're ready. So maybe when they start going in 57, maybe they won't look so good. But uh, they're nice calls. I like them both.